Um, I've got a mom. She lives in West Palm Beach, Florida. I live here in Dallas, Texas. You know what that means? Anytime anything remotely bad happens in Texas, anywhere in Texas, my mom calls up freaking out. Honey, I heard there was a shooting in El Paso. Are you okay? Shit, unless they're using nuclear weapons. I'm fine. My mom saw me do that bit once and she got pissed and this is how I know. Last year we had those horrible shootings in downtown Dallas. I live in downtown Dallas. Bitch didn't call me for two weeks. <laughs> She hates that I do comedy. She called me up really freaked out. She's like, honey, I was watching CNN. They said that sometimes in comedy clubs they pay their comics with drugs. Well, can you book me? I'll give you 10%. I was on iTunes last night and I purchased that song, Cocaine, by Eric Clapton. It's a cool song. When I did a little message from iTunes, popped up and it said, are you sure you want to spend 99 cents on cocaine? <laughs> I've never been so sure of anything in my life. That's a good deal, bro. I used to be addicted to cocaine. I had to quit, though. I had a bad experience. I was at a club in Deep Bell and decided to go to the bathroom, store me some cocaine out of a little baggie using the straw I've been drinking with all night. Wow, a lot of cokeheads in there. Did you hear that, like, visceral reaction? I'm like, oh, dude. It's gonna get clogged in the straw, right? That's what happened. I was freaking out, I'm like, oh no, what am I gonna do? Wait, I can figure this out, guys. I'm smart, I have an online degree. In marketing. From the University of Phoenix. So I decided to blow through the straw whilst it was still in the bag. All of a sudden, it's Christmas time for strippers. Cocaine is falling out of the sky. I'm trying to funnel it up my nose before it hits the bathroom floor. Let me tell you something, hyenas. I don't know if you've ever tried to snort cocaine as it's falling out of the sky. It's difficult, not impossible. I still got high. You know why? I'm not a quitter. I'm a phoenix. <laughs> younger than me, a lot more attractive than me, and I get really insecure around her. I was asking her if I needed to get in shape to look better, and as she was telling me no, she was flipping my man boob. No, you're fine. Don't worry about it. No, don't worry about it. No, you, you be you. You be you. I'm real insecure around her, man. Like, when we fool around, I turn off all the lights. I put tinfoil in the windows. We were messing around the other night, and she was like, oh, baby, your butt's so round and soft. Actually, that's my stomach. That's, that's my stomach you're touching. Very insecure around her. She hates that I'm getting gray hair. She's like, you better dye your hair. It makes you look old and tired. I'm like, bitch, I am old and tired. <laughs> I got in trying to hide my age when we first started dating. Like, I didn't show up like riding a hoverboard with a man bun, right? <laughs> Our first date, I was like, listen, I like naps. And when I get pissed off, I have the sudden urge to write a handwritten letter. That's an old person thing to do right there, isn't it? Like, I'll show you how you use good penmanship. You ever think a CEO is sitting around the office, guys, we better stop polluting the environment. Why is that boss got ourselves a handwritten letter? What does it say? I don't know, it's in cursive. You guys ever been mistaken for working at a place you did not work at? You know, if you're at Target and you're wearing red, or you're at Walgreens and you look sad, Look around, anyone not laughing, they work at Walgreens. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being with Jess. You guys went awesome. Have a great night.